Turn 109. All right. Um, he's finished the Pantheon. He started the museum. Um, and interestingly, he has also killed a bazillion units. He has finally burst through the wall. Um, lots of critical hits here. Crit, 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 crit. Replay, unfortunately, is not working, so I can't show you the glorious attack that Frederick unleashed. Um, so, uh, definitely not going to spend 3,000 gold making the pagans happy with me. Uh, surprisingly, this family has not converted yet. Two points, four, three points here, four, verse, three, four, five. This should convert. I'm not sure why it hasn't. Um, that is weird. Tolerance or orthodoxy. Well, um, orthodoxy will help two families that already uh, have happy opinion with me. I think I'd much rather have the civics right now. We are at war, so we're going to go with decree. Um, and Parsa is going to build a swordsman. Comus, um, all these cities probably can just chill at this point. Um, they could build a treasury, I guess, something like that. That seems good. Um, realistically, forum is going to be better for civics. Um, like, I'm never going to get time to produce things here, so we're going to say forum for extra civics production. Similarly here, um, realistically, council. Forum doesn't pay off fast enough. Uh, so these cities are going to go council, repeat council. Um, maybe this city will get online. We'll see. Uh, this city, we definitely want another uh, Kata, I think. Kata is more important than Cataphract Archer at this point. Um, we're going to need to basically chew through this. Um, we have a couple ranged units. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to plan this attack, um, or how to plan this counterattack. Um, so first, let's see here. We have a bunch of horse units and some archers, um, and then I guess a um, couple spearmen still left. And we did thankfully upgrade this guy up here. Um, so I don't really care about that militia. Uh, let's see, which is my strongest cataphract? Probably this one or this one. This one is all the way down here. It's going to need to come up. And then we're going to need to figure out a route chain for this guy. Um, I think I'm actually going to have this come all the way up here and do really silly things to these ballista. Like, really silly things. Um, so we can kill that. Um, alternatively, we could come through here and just destroy everything here. I like that. That's a pretty solid route chain. Oops. Uh, so given that, I will likely... Let's see, I need a point of damage on this. So now we go to find our point of damage sources. We have a slinger that we could move up here and force march, rather not force march. Uh, we have this dude that can move all the way up here with quite a force march. Um, and this dude, that probably does not need a force march to get in range. Oh, actually does. This one, which needs a tiny bit of a force march. Uh, alternatively, we could potentially... Hmm. Uh, I would love to kill this archer. Um, Try to think how to do that. These should be against. So I, I want to do this route chain here, 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 here. So this definitely attacks like that. Here, 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 here. Okay. Um, avoiding the spears as much as possible because they're going to disrupt the route chain. Uh, okay. So since none of my units are in range, I can potentially pull in one of these guys. All right, I need a point of damage on this thing somehow. Um,
So what we can do is we come here, hit that. This uh, comes over here and hits that. One force march. This um, no, it's better to better to have the spears hit uh, as many horses as possible. So this comes here, and this comes here. I think actually, yeah, and this comes maybe here where. Uh, I uh, can't quite get a range. Really like to avoid using force marches if possible, but maybe not going to be possible. So, all right. This hits this way, this hits this way, this hits that way. Nice. All right, so we still need a point of damage here. This feels like a waste killing a militia. Um, how do we get a point of damage? Well, what we could do is force march this and that, because these cleave <laughs> uh, is able to do that. That's cool. Now this can come, nope, freaking militia zoning. Um, that, can do that. Bloodthirsty. Um, I think bloodthirsty is right. Let's think. We have heckler, first general, or bloodthirsty, first damaged. Only bloodthirsty, first damaged. We're not going to uh, pick up laws. All right, we have a bunch of um, things in the bank. Got a lot of orders. Um, let's keep facilitating this route chain. Um, I would like to kill this with something. No choice but to shoot with that, I think. So let me do that. Becomes crippled. Fortunately, that does not matter. Um, because we just do this. Uh, don't really care about his fatigue limit when, when we're route chaining our way to victory. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Got a lot of cataphracts. I think you may have underestimated just how many cataphracts I have, my friend. Um, I have been spamming cataphracts like no tomorrow. Um, That works, that works. Tracker, Besieger, Charisma, let's do Tracker. Uh, I mean, I guess I can take the Charisma, it doesn't really matter, these are terrible promotion rules. Um, gives me a little bit of defense, 3%. Tracker does nothing, I, Besieger doesn't even work for melee, for horses, so that's cool. Um, I'll move that there, hit this, an epic, epic route chain for the ages. Um, we're gonna dump this along here. I'd like to um, I'm going to run short on orders of all things. It's going to be challenging. Uh, we have one cataphract archer here. That is far, far away. Um, that is the only ranged unit we have. We'll do it. What is that? All right, so we kill a bunch with the world's most epic route chain. Uh, and we still have, wake all these units, control shift to wake. Still have a bunch more um, that can deal some damage, which they probably should. Let's think where, where can we attack? I'm gonna buy all my orders. Um, anything I can actually kill. Come in here.
I got we can get that killed. So that leaves him with a couple. I guess we'll kill that since that sword never did anything anyway. Um use a little second. So that leaves him with one, two, three spears here, some a trireme, some dromons, a cataphract. Okay, and I'm left with an order. <laughs> um Okay. Literally don't have orders to move up and down. Okay. So here, um, can rush out a Cata Archer. Not really too keen on that, uh, but it'll be useful for having that ranged. So we are left with one order. Um, so. It's pretty good. He has very few katas left. He did leave his archer, unfortunately. Um, but it's not too highly promoted. Uh, he will lose stuff here. Not too much, I hope. Um, we can't send honey there, but it doesn't matter at the moment. Decrees are fine. Workers all just chill. Chill, chill, chill. Uh, we have some more katas ready to go. Um, yeah, so he's going to attack with more waves, but we brought him down to similar. He was stronger. Um, so, All right, um, I could probably min max this uh, and spend like an hour doing so. I don't really want to do that. I am hopeful that um, just the power of cataphracts is sufficient. Um, really love the route chain for his ballistas. Like, oh my lord. Uh, that was amazing. And uh, long may you live, General Tiridates. Um, crippled and bloodthirsty, 29-year-old, uh, gave it, gave his all uh, for our friends, uh, the Persian Empire. He will definitely, uh, that unit is definitely dead. Um, but yeah, we're going to have some fun times here. Um, and it looks like we might have time for a counterattack. He does have a cataphract. Um, but we're going to have some awesome cataphract on cataphract action. Um, I'd rather have an archer versus a swordsman. Um, swordsman will be useful for killing these uh, spearmen, but he's going to move the spearmen out of uh, their position. So orders is so, so important here. Um, nothing more to be said about that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, all right, so realistically, I should undo slightly here and go back to when I force marched. Okay, we're going to stop at 120. Um, so we move moved one of those units up there. We just kill that with our remaining two moves. Okay, so. Just gonna undo so so I have 120. Um, okay. All right. Uh, oh, and I actually can undo one more, I guess. 220. Uh, so this comes here. This comes here. And that finishes it nicely, and we're left with 220, which is super important in case we would like to um, in case we would like to force march. Uh, these are still fine. Um, I don't anticipate an attack here. Uh, I don't think he can kill. He cannot, so it should be fine. And I presume the majority of the front is going to be up here, which is where we are. Um, next turn, I will have the cataphract archer ready. Um, this cataphract is at 1600. Probably actually more important right now to get a cataphract. Um, can sell stone, doesn't matter at the moment, and that way we can get everything out um, as quickly as possible. We can keep selling stone, even the swordsman. Um, just get all the units out, reinforce, um, <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Uh, realistically, Latin sale does not matter. Dromons are not going to decide this battle. 
money boost. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. We are taking money boost um, just to cycle over. Um, uh, yeah, like it doesn't really matter. Um, would rather have money for rushing things. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. And we're, we're not going to get C superiority at this point. Um, not when, not when there's uh, an attack going on. Okay. Um, feeling pretty good about this, all things considered. And hopefully it's a dramatic ending to this game. I was a little worried that we were going to just have a wonder building uh, adventure, which to be fair, may still be the case. Um, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to stop him in time. We'll see. His attacking, I think, is going to be actually fortuitous for me, potentially. Uh, <laughs> I say that now. We'll see how many units are alive uh, next turn, uh, because I don't have to break through his fortified lines. Um, I also think it's interesting neither of us went for onagers uh, this game. Again, probably because the sea battle, uh, the water makes it so that you can sort of burst through. Um, all right, we're going to have a lot of treasuries going up, which will be a lot of money, which is good. Uh, decree in a turn here. Swordsman Cataphract. Uh, can we actually push this one out? Don't have developing culture. It is one year away. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. So moved all the things we could move. We are definitely, uh, almost certainly have an order advantage. Not entirely sure though. Um, when we do have orders free, we should be building temples because each of them is essentially a order for us. All right, let's uh, go ahead and send this back. Turn 110. Always fun to see. 17 units killed. Um, oh my god, he had a lot more military back there that I just did not see. Uh, and still no replay. Okay. I realistically do not see a way to come back here. Um, I did not think he had that many more units back there. I just did not have good vision where those units were. Um, uh, the governor can get robust. Can make him courtier, sure. Scholar, um, Christianity. Uh, I don't really want tolerance right now. Um, I'll take that. I can gain opinion with everyone. They still have not converted. Not sure what the deal is there. Um, he seems fine as a governor option. Uh, Atlantean sail, probably. Okay, do I realistically see a way to defeat this? Um, I'm down to 13 military units, and I see way more than 13 here. Um, and looking at this graph, uh, I'm plunged pretty far down. I can, of course, throw units at this, um, but I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, eleven cataphracts. He has autarky as one of his laws. Um, all right, I think this is probably the point to concede. Um, I don't think I anticipated as many things pouring over the border as I did. I did not have great vision of his side. Um, he's even had orders to attack here, so really curious to see the, the order graph. Um, I don't think I can reasonably fight on. Um, it's kind of a shame how quickly um, it all fell apart. Could of course sign Confucius here and start getting inquiries up and running there at last. Um, but I think realistically, I don't see I mean getting attacked in the south. I do have a hundred orders, but I just don't have the military units for them. Um 
and with just 13 units able to attack, I don't see myself being able to get too many kills uh, realistically. Um, yeah, I mean, just playing this out a little bit here. You can move up here, attack with that. That was a crit. Um, can hit that. This guy is pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I don't. He had 28 attacks. Um, can't even see them all. There's a decent route chain here, I guess. Um, but with autarky and production in this city and being be behind on tech. Um, yeah, like, let's see. Even best case, if each of my units kills one of his units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, even if best case, which isn't going to happen, I'm still not going to be able to turn this tide. Um, and even producing uh, four or five units a turn, um, don't think is going to be enough. So, we can try for it a bit. ranged. Totally missed that he was ranged. Um, the icons are too similar. Yep. Some kills here. But I fear it's not going to be quite enough. <laughs> like, already running out of units. This guy is not having a good time. I can come up and do horsebane things. Swordsman can kill that. Enable that to go there. And kill there. The crit. Um, and we basically have nothing left in the tank. So it was worth playing out, I guess. Um, I think it's going to be pretty much decided here. We can push out all the catas that we can. Um, might as well steal religion. Might as well get orthodoxy. Um, doesn't really matter. Actually, let's hold on the orthodoxy. Um, Kata, sell all our, almost all our stone. Yeah, it doesn't really matter with temples right now. Um, potentially take the city very easily as well. Um, probably the end here. So we have a swordsman. We can rush out another swordsman. Civics. Don't really need to create, it turns out, because uh, we don't have the units for it. Um, Cataphract can't quite afford it. Uh, we'll sell this. Still can't afford it. 
um, this one. Can afford that one out. Here, uh, two turns on the wine. We can, I guess, open apprentice officer uh, very quickly. It just doesn't matter, honestly. Um, As always, learned a lot from loss losing. Um, next turn, I think, is going to be decisive. Um, I'm not going to be able to really do anything against that. So, felt pretty good in that counterattack. Uh, not feeling so great now. And not sure why. Uh, our friends have not converted yet. Um, two points, three, four, five, verse one, two, three, four. So it's five versus four. They should definitely convert. Um, okay. We'll have one more, two more, three more units. Um, we got some kills. Workers. We can clear that and get a range up and running. Find um, really see anything that can be done over here. These workers. Um, no more mines. Rally troops. Oh, we're ill. We don't have the civics for rally troops. Um, yeah, not really much, really anything to be done here. I don't really have the resources to build anything. Uh, we could build our last racks here. Um, and I guess we can get this mine up and running. Kind of an embarrassment that it wasn't mined earlier. Um, this, is not a, this is a river forest, so sell a little bit of food. Let's get that up and running. Pretty much that's all. Um, now we're ready to go down here. Nothing really to improve. Um, so we can build a farm here. I guess we can use the other. Other dudes can just chop. Other chop there. You've river forested everything is choppable. Now get that farm up. It's the thing about old world, you go from elation to despair. <laughs> I guess I needed to get agents up because I did not see his forces um, anywhere near as much as I needed to. Um, yeah, I think there's really nothing these these folks can do up here. Um, yeah. Okay. And have Confucius Tutor. Doesn't matter at all. All right, and he has the uh, museum in two years, so point victory is inevitable. Uh, I'm definitely losing here. Um, yeah, not being able to control the seas, and in the end, proved decisive because he can easily 
reinforce across the water. Uh, I didn't really have the ability to block it off. You should be able to crush this easily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, submit this turn, but then I think I'm just going to concede. Uh, I don't really see a path to victory and would love to do a post-game discussion with him. All right, let's uh, send this one back. Turn 111. All right. Um, basically game over. I have seven military units left. Um, we are down to where we were on turn 90. Um, very much him. Lost the game. No real hope of recovery here. Um, way too many units. And I believe uh, from chatting with Frederick over Discord, he also has a point victory next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and surrender. And that's that. All right, I'm here post-surrendering. Uh, the AI has made some moves. Um, but now I can see everywhere. Um, so yeah, ignore all the production cues. That's the AI being silly. It really wants me to build conscripts, apparently. It's not going to help AI. Um, yeah, looks like he's got great production. Let's take a look at some of those graphs. Um, Oh man, the military score graph. I just did not quite catch up. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, basically was behind all game. Um, did not build enough military forces early. I think that snowball was super key. Key, uh, stats wise, uh, national wealth is like, what the? He has way more resources than I do. Okay, that's kind of big. Uh, total population, double my pop. Um, 40 more specialists. Holy crap. Uh, 21 apprentice officers versus four. Okay, I got blown out <laughs> here. Uh, 34 workers versus 23. Um, clearly uh, not doing something right, worker-wise. Uh, if I, yeah. Uh, military units, 52 versus... 46. Uh, I actually produce more katas. 25 versus 22. Um, but uh, he attacked first, I guess. And I lost a bunch of early katas, and I didn't have much else beside those katas. Units lost. I lost 46 to 204. Pretty close. Uh, camps, pretty much identical. I think the middle camp was the only difference. Laws, 13 laws. Techs, uh, way ahead tech wise. Six techs on me. Longest Reign, 58 versus 44. Courtiers, uh, 8 versus 5. He got much more courtiers than I did. Uh, he also built a lot more improvements than I did. Um, and has 5 wonders. So that is actually a significant difference. Um, 47 quarries versus 32. Um, almost equivalent number of mines. Uh, 20 barracks versus 13. Yeah, I just got blown out of the water. I'm pretty sure early snowball was was the big difference here. Um, that military graph, uh, yeah, I just did not have enough military early for for strong barbarians, uh, and it really hurt um, essentially there. Okay, uh, territory owned. Similarly, he's able to clear a little faster than I am. Resource prices, everything's going to the moon. Um, victory points, uh, family opinion, not really readable as a graph. Um, Growth ahead, civics, he's way ahead. Uh, training, also way ahead. Culture, way ahead. <laughs> discontent, uh, I'm winning on discontent, guys. Um, science, he is crushing me on science. I don't think this includes, um, I do not believe that this includes uh, increase as well. Money, uh, crushing me on money. Orders, yeah, there was, there was no hope of, uh, no hope of catching up here. Uh, he just, yeah. Uh, his stone production is way earlier than me. Uh, I did not get it up and, up and running in time. Um, so yeah, uh, improvements. Let's take a look at his improvements here. Um, 29 farms, 59 mines, 47 quarries, 23 lumber mills, a bunch of uh, resource improvements, some water mills and windmills, which doubtless helped his economy. He even had baths. Oh my lord. Uh, he was just zooming with his uh, tech advantage. Um, and then a bunch of barracks, 20 barracks is in 20 ranges. So I guess he had 10 military cities to my, uh, not quite three plus three-ish, uh, courthouse, ministry, palace, garrison, uh, 
Stronghold Citadels, which also helped. Um, 17 Temples, which probably helped with orders. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at that order graph, actually. Uh, I'm actually doing fine on orders. I did did have an order advantage, um, but largely th thanks to Persia, uh, Syria was basically keeping up order-wise. Um, let's uh, poke around city-wise. He's got some Dromons. Um, can I look through his cities? Nope. Uh, I can't see a graph of his cities. Uh, yeah, let's take a look here. We've got 151 <laughs> civics. Um, this guy has 53 production, 43 production, um, apprentice officer, apprentice officer, um, some scribes even, apprentice scribes, that all-important monk. Did not go for the uh, poet play here. Um, let's take a look at where, what that breakdown there is. Holy City, Acropolis, Museum, Forum, Elder Monk, 2X El Apprentice Scribe, uh, Shrine, Jewish Monastery, Courthouse, Ministry, Palace, and then the encryption, uh, Inscriptions event. Doesn't even have a good governor. <laughs> Minus charisma on, on his scholar. Um, here, pretty classic. Uh, he's got the Shrine uh, and Barracks Range. And then I guess looks like two elders and two apprentice officers. Um, that looks like a pattern. Two elders, two apprentices. Uh, the ranges come just with the apprentices. Um, so that seems like a replicable pattern here. Um, okay, it's just sorting through those three cities. Okay, let's take a look over here. Uh, I can look inside. Yep, looks like that is uh, basically to build a military city, get two barracks and two ranges, and then uh, put two elder officers and two <laughs> and two apprentice officers, and that gets you uh, a solid. Uh, Solid production. Um, all right. Well, that that's definitely, uh, yeah. He he was just much more disciplined in terms of what he wanted to do, um, and how he did it. Um, and he did get architecture early, uh, so minus one year to build improvements. That actually adds up hugely, um, especially since he got it very early from an event. Um, wonder what that event is and whether it should be added to competitive mode. Um, but yeah, it, that helped him speed up a uh, bunch of improvements because I got blasted out of the water uh, in terms of improvements. All right, uh, we'll see if we chat some more uh, in the post-game discussion here.